So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out exactly how much anger you need to be harboring where you think to yourself, I will download, pay somebody and download a program that will let me mess with people online. Yeah, what I want to be able to do is pull people out of their delivery vehicles, kill them, make myself invulnerable so they can't fight back. I want to feel like I'm the one in power. Now, maybe some really bad things are happening here. Maybe someone feels like, you know, they're in the reverse situation in real life. Um, you know, it's not a good feeling. You can see at the end of this video, I tell you, hey, this is going to YouTube, and I'm going to get you in trouble, jerk face, jerk, jerk ass, I think. Jerk ass isn't even a word. I was incoherently annoyed because, I mean, it takes you days to build up this much material. And, you know, it's a lot of effort in game. Now, it's a game. And in a calmer state of mind, I realize it's just a game, you know. But I, it's, but it's annoying. It's like, why are people doing this? And the best thing I could think of is that Rockstar needs to figure out a way to stop it. I mean, they've got billions of dollars here, folks. They have made billions off these shark cards. You know, don't worry about the next Tesseract car you're going to put in the game. The next car that really isn't material. Figure out a way to stop this. I mean, you know. Some kind of software. You gotta get on this. I mean, I realize that it's a constant battle with the hackers and the hackers. You know, the hackers themselves at least are doing something creative, and that they're creating a program that does interesting things with the program. But I mean, you know, look, I don't care if you decide to put like a hog in my office or fill up my, you know, my hangar with tanks. I don't care about fun kind of non-malicious modders. I just want these people who just go in. Ruin your stuff and no comp you know, with no compensation. Or, you know what? This would be good. If I'm going to put this video together here. I'm going to send it to Rockstar. If they compensate me for it, or if they refill my, my uh, what do you call it? They want to refill my nightclub. Go. That's good. You know, don't even give me the money. Just refill my night nightclub. Night flub. Nightclub flub. See, I'm just incoherent at this point. I'm just... <sighs> But this is like the seventh take. I'm just running with it. You know, it's it's a matter of just if, if Rockstar wants to, you know, in each of these situations, compensate the person who's attacked, fine. Then let's let these people, maybe this prevents this person from blowing up a school or something like that. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know what drives people. How angry are they? How, what bad things are happening in their life that they feel like they need to make someone else feel like they have no power? You know, even if it's in a minor way, like, I mean, if in your life, if in your life you feel like you want to do this, if you feel like right, well, you have no power in your life and things are happening right? that are so terrible There's that you need to act time. out like this, then you need to talk that. to somebody. All right, talk to talk to a school counselor. You know, if you have access to psychiatric care, I and mean, I'm not being facetious here. I'm not saying, hey, you're crazy. I'm saying, look, if you're in such a bad place, you need to talk to somebody. Call a priest, you know. Find Jesus, something along the lines, you know? I mean, Jesus does love you. And, you know, he'll get you through whatever kind of problems you're having right now. But you need to, you need to, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this is keeping people from being actually violent. If they, if they can just act out their violence in game, you know, it'd be nice if they would do it just legitimately. All right, get me, get a helicopter, get a hunter, blow me up, fine. Now, that's at least playing the game, you know, but it's just so frustrating when you have these hackers come in and just like, and you know, it was a good lobby. I mean, I was playing this lobby for a while just to make sure that it wasn't hostile. You know, I wouldn't start, you know, a big mission like this, you know, until uh, until I thought it was a good time and that, you know, there was enough stuff. I had a low probability of attack. This guy just popped in out of nowhere. Attack, like you can't You can't defend against that, you know? And again, I know it's just a game. It is just a game, and God bless the hacker, because whatever's going on in his head, um, I feel sorry for him, because he came, it, whatever, or maybe he's just bored and thinks, well, it's just a game, I'm not doing anything, I'm not hurting anybody. It it does hurt a little bit, Chief. I mean, you know, this is really, this is a, lo a lost time. And, you know, it's the kind of thing where it's like, all right, well, if I'm not, if this is how it's going to be, I'm just not going to try this anymore, and then let's go fight, I'll go play Fallout 4. On that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. And Rockstar, if you, I'm going to send this to you. You can track his ID, figure out whatever you want to do there. Call his mom. I don't know. But it'd be really great if you could just give me some kind of compensation so that I still feel like playing the game. Thanks a lot. Have a great night. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night is my standard outro, but I'm, I'm rattled. I'm just rattled. I know, I shouldn't be rattled over a game. 
It's just a game.